My goodness me, the action is so good that um, the stream went off bad. Right, we're back. Uh, we're back here in Singapore, then. So um, after that uh, momentary lapse, then, but we're back now, and it just. Um, we're back, we're back with Kieran at the moment, and who's uh, still leading the way with Danger Thomas in second position. Uh, third uh, third position is Epic, fourth is Troy, and fifth is Blaze with uh, D Black Box and six. Crazy Bill in seventh position. Do, does the stream just continue? Oh, that's fantastic. Uh, Crazy Bill in seventh position, Mr. Ray to save, Tygo in ninth, uh, uh, nope, Tygo in tenth position, Sully in ninth position, German's got past Chazza, Chazza is struggling, can German go? Oh, German's in the wall, and he has uh, got too much, um, oh, goodness me, he's right at the middle of the circuit there he got on the power the champion is out of the race there and oh dear oh dear and uh, that is a um that is a shame indeed that uh is, uh, is that gonna be a safety car because that's right in the line of fire no it is at the safety car uh, that's been cleared and the yellow flags there uh, Kieran Ed is now three seconds up the road there but I think oh the clout to the curb I think is there and getting a very um and getting very uh light on the old rear there but uh, Troy is now also on the rear as well Troy doing a great job at the moment out there isn't he Troy it's a fan fantastic drive here once again now uh, uh, from uh, the super swede who is in um, fourth position and in the aston martin over the anderson bridge and this um this trainer car so which is actually headed up by danger times there it was um it's, uh, this incredible battle as well isn't it uh, guys uh german out of the race he just got past his teammate Chaz as well but he's going to be unhappy about that as a uh, box style is back in the pits down in 14 position nightmare race i think this is his worst drive for box in his uh, career in division one but it is such a tough circuit isn't it indeed that uh, uh for um uh, for box style unfortunately uh, so the gap is up to four seconds now uh between uh between kieran and danger so i was like goodness grace me he's coming for kieran who was our 14 from the grid wasn't your 13 from the grid and he is now up into a magnificent um He's up into a magnificent lead and he's done another fast up the race. Absolutely running away with this at the moment there. Draw of the day is coming then Kieran and Troy has both got a vote each and Danger Thomas and Mr. Rage. Uh, of course, um, I think that Mr. Rage definitely does deserve a uh, pat on the back then. This could be his first point of his career in the Division 1. He's doing an absolutely supreme job out there, Mr. Rage. Of course, he's a quick customer in um, F2 and he's shown it in F1 equipment as well in that Scarlet Ferrari. He is not too shabby either. Uh, Danger Thomas is all second edition because Epic is through. And up into second position, uh, Sloth has got past Chaz and the Nantum. Now position change has been um, has uh, been coming, no, hasn't it? But now has Epic got the pace, and I think the Kieran's long gone, unfortunately. So um, uh, unfortunately for Epic, anyway. But uh, Danger Time has uh, dropped down to uh, third position. He needs to stay in the wheel track, so he will have DRS now, won't he? Uh, so um, as Era said, would have been eat the cookie for trial today. Uh, as uh, well, unfortunately, um, eat the cookie. So we've lost um, we lost Clarky as well. I think in that uh, in that momentary interval there, um, so he lost. Uh, we've lost German, Clarky, Eat the Cookie, Julian, Mr. BT, and Milan all out of the Grand Prix on lap 26 out of 31. Sir Russian says that he has voted for Troy because he's loyal. Uh, so two uh, two votes for Kieran, one vote for um, one vote for Troy at the moment. I think Mr. Rage also uh, probably does deserve to get a mention as well. So Epic the Animal then, uh, this is perfect for Epic the Animal's point of view because he can now uh, home in on that potential second place and runner up in the World Championship. Thank you very much then uh, to uh, Chalkser then, oh, uh, to Chalkser, I apologise if I uh, pronounced his name right, I think it's actually Chalkser, isn't it really, who is um, who's a new follower indeed. But thank you very much, my, uh, thank you very much, my, um, uh, my good old, uh, my good old sir. Right, we're on board with, um, on board with Black Box at the moment, he's six tenths of a second away from Blaze, with Bill in for uh, seventh and Mr. Rage supreme driving by the way for Mr. Rage hats off to him then I, I do enjoy Mr. Rage when he's uh, when he's um, really resting that prima car in Formula 2 on Tuesday nights but he's doing a magnificent job in the Ferrari here tonight as well as uh, long as his teammates it's a great day for Ferrari and here comes uh, uh, Blaze and he's going to have a look then not quite going in to turn number 7 I think it is that uh, as uh, goodness uh, gracious me and uh, look at this that uh, is blaze all over the back now of uh, troy eh? as um troy is now starting to come under quite um quite uh, exponential threat and data times is not able to keep up with epic at the moment and as epic has been released uh but um goodness me and they're going over the answer bridge was this um this is they've been nudging on almost um 
an hour's worth of racing around here. It's incredibly difficult, isn't it? This is the closest we have to endurance racing in Formula 1. It's a brutal circuit, this one is. Uh, as, uh, yes, they've been racing for 49, maybe 50 minutes now. Absolutely unbearable is the concentration on these drivers. It is very um, it's very tough. The box has got a three-second penalty in this one. There's uh, his uh, nightmare reset is just a snowballing out of control, unfortunately. So who's going to be, i got to say, I have no idea who's going to be on the final man on the podium here because I think that uh, Epic has the pace and he's starting to stretch away, but Danger Times is feeling a bit vulnerable at the moment. But this is still, um, he's outscoring uh, Blaze once again. I think he's outscoring him by seven points. So now it's just edging him closer to the championship maybe next week in Japan, of course. And, and who is that? Uh, did I just see it? Oh, it was a sloth then who's gone into the wall and has damaged the whole of the wing section. Chaz is in the pits as well on those uh, medium tyres and he's really struggling. But sloth then, I think that's the end of this chance of points there. Uh, Chaz has also changed the nose cone as well then because I don't think it was medium tyres that was wearing out there, unfortunately. <coughs> and, um,. And uh, now he comes out of the pits as well uh, for Chasen. But yeah, Slothen is uh, crawling then, unfortunately. Made a mistake there, Chasen. And that's, all, that's um, all but ended his chance of points, and unfortunately, as um, we've got yellow flags out there in sector two. I think that was Slothen, wasn't it? I think he might just been get out of the way. Uh, let me catch up with the comments then, shall we? As, uh, oh, goodness me, exposed as um, it was Harold that uh, voted for Troy, not serious Russian shock of beer. Uh, still uh, done a uh, <laughs> shock of beer. Uh, German saying that was a tough one, feel like something I'm about supposed to feel a lot better towards the end there. Of course, remember, German has been racing with an injury, hasn't there? Uh, so, um, which is really modest performance there. But he said that he was quite, he was um, at the top, he was, well, he was leading the race, and was second, wasn't he, for most of it? Epic, uh, but, um, if ever pulls out second, then uh, Danger Time, then uh, Danger Time's podium is in danger. At the moment, he's got a three second window. Oh, made that two tenths of a second now uh, between uh, Danger Times and Epic. And of course, he needs to stay within one second. And Danger Times is that otherwise, yes, he will have no DRS set. And uh, then he will be very vulnerable to Troy and Blaze behind him as well. And of course, Blaze is going to be carrying on as, as uh, hard as he can then out here. Uh, but. Um, uh, but yeah, as we come now into three laps before the end of this race, and <laughs> one incredible race has been. I'm absolutely shattered as well. Oh, I've been doing this sat here. Whilst the drivers have been absolutely gladiators here tonight, they fight them. They've been wrestling these cars around this a very, a very physical, demanding Singapore Grand Prix, racing for almost an hour. I figure about three minutes away from an hour. Absolutely mega stuff indeed. Then five seconds, something going penalty then for slot fair. As um, you know, he's going to try and probably get a uh, uh, trying to get uh, the fastest up now. Uh, so off his head and hopefully take uh, we've got Chaz at a box tail also on for also on um, soft tires while going for fast as lap results are in for Troy Day um, it is um, it was Kieran with seven votes and one vote for Troy uh, I'm not going to disagree with that and Danger Times has uh, 10 percent fresher uh, 10 Danger Times 10 percent fresher tires it just said on my screen and ref, um, refresh uh, still haven't got it um I think that that's, I think that's for the uh, driver of the day award there, unfortunately, uh, but for serious motion. But uh, unfortunately, serious motion. Well, unfortunately, serious motion. The uh, revoke the votes have ended now. Uh, Kieran's got seven, one vote for Troy then. But uh, we we we'll give we we'll give Troy two votes because you know serious motion wanted to um, give him a vote then. Into the pits comes a box style. Box style is going to get locked in the minute. Then, if he ain't careful, unfortunately, uh, which uh, it's just been a terrible day, hasn't it, for the Division Two champion? There. But um, yeah, and he also DNF'd it, and he's retired from the pit lane. Uh, box style, I said, and uh, he is out of the race there. And it's a bit of unfortunately, it's just been a tough old day. This is a tough race. This is an absolutely horrific one indeed. Uh, on lap 40 out of 31 here, uh, Sully's had a quiet one as well. I would have gone, at, I would have gone Kieran anyway. Laugh out loud, so much was saying. So it would have been eight actually, not not. Um, <laughs> it would have been eight votes said. Uh, so um, Jordy is our seventh retirement out of the Grand Prix. Uh, Sully has had a quiet one as he's in at ninth position. No, uh, three seconds in front of his teammate, and he's just behind Mr. Rate. And uh, Mr. Rate, as I said, and this is first point of his career in Division One. Fantastic job from Mr. Rate in the Ferrari. Really well done indeed. Very impressive performance here tonight. 
So then lap 30 out of 31 here then in this uh, one. Then Charles is at the fast half of the race. Uh, and that would be an extra point for himself in Red Bull if he keeps it. I wonder if Kieran's got uh, any any um, extra life uh, now to maybe get uh, to uh, maybe squeeze out another fastest lap. Uh, we've got nine seconds of penalty for Crazy Bill, which may cost him some points here, you know. As uh, Nolsey, well, it's about nine seconds out, uh, nine seconds out, Nolsey is, isn't he? Um, so, yeah, I think, that's, I think that may not be the, um, I don't think that might be the case. There's a crazy bill, may get a point in this one in the end. Then. Um, as uh, Sarah's right saying, that Torre has driven like the consistent beast he is. He has been absolutely fantastic. And, fa and also, fair play to the drivers there. Only um, lack of penalties out there. Yes, it's a, it is a street circuit, but lack of penalties out there has been a really impressive stuff indeed. That's a fantastic job uh, for. Um, all the drivers out there uh, that go, as they go under the uh, go under the uh, uh, grandstands one is Belize's car back in there is uh, getting very floaty on the old rear posterior there isn't it? it's all oh, that McLaren very close to the bar that goodness gracious me um, his blaze is dropped oh he's got a three second penalty and he's all oh, goodness me almost spun the car as well everything's got a three second penalty as well I'm so sorry the commentators curse has come back to roost but blaze that's going to cost him mightily that's going to cost epic I think that's going to cost epic the podium you know goodness gracious me Oh dear, oh dear then. And of course, there was just one lap to go. Blaze and Epic, who is driving as hard as they can, have cost themselves majorly with this three second penalties that they've just got almost simultaneously. That is a br that is brutal indeed. That crazy Bill with um, nine seconds of penalties. I don't think uh, Black Box is going to fight this one too hard, but Black Box knows that he wants to stay as close to Blaze as possible, maybe even Epic, to maybe get himself up into, uh, up into up a few positions then. I was said I just knew penalties were coming when he said that. I know I should I just pushed my luck, didn't I? I should have just um I should just like set it towards the end and soft set another fast up the race set, of course. So as um it's Charles and Softhead battling for battling for a provisional fastest lap, and at the end of this race, that is the beauty of battling fast lap when you're not in the top ten, uh, isn't it? Is a uh, driver saying could um could carry on and just keep fighting away then. Uh, so Troy podium and coming, let's go, Kessler saying and he's and here is Troy, he's been magnificent, hasn't he today, Troy? Yes. Uh, but there is one man who is still oh goodness me look at that they're lovely <laughs> goodness gracious me he's uh, pushing that far to the limit and beyond it is car 46 it is um kieran formerly noticed like an like, absolutely magnificent performance here today from 13th on the grid or 14th i can't remember where he's coming through the final turn and he wins the singapore grand prix absolutely superb stuff there from uh, kieran and uh, what an incredible performance there that was absolutely mega stuff indeed there i uh, must say that that is a blaze finish fifth in the end by 200 of a second there kieran what an absolutely that is a clinic in grand prix racing there from kieran today um mega seven deep there he got uh, he got early damage didn't he uh or he got damaged early on then under the um before the first safety car came out there but then since then he was on a uh, he was on a mission there he came through the field like a hot knife through butter he went through and he won the uh, he wins the singapore grand prix magnificent stuff indeed there Troy in third, great draw indeed. Epic, who made a mistake there, and that is just um, further increased the uh, gap between uh, Blaze and Danger Times. The gap is now eight points, and it is outscored uh, Danger Times tonight and over Blaze. Uh, uh, and that is extended his lead in the championship for Danger Times, and he is now at prime position to potentially win the world championship in the land of the rising sun coming up in a week's time. My goodness gracious me. Uh, Kessler saying, GG, um, Kieran, Danger Times, and the great Troy. Uh, damage was a blessing in disguise in the end, but what a performance it was indeed then, as he danced his way to victory. Uh, absolutely superb stuff indeed there uh, for Kieran. Uh, he lifts the trophy here in Singapore, an absolutely grueling contest. This was in the end there. It's about an hour of racing here in Singapore tonight, and I am going to need a lie down after that one. Incredible stuff indeed. Before we go though, uh, we got to have a chin wag with the drivers, and we got to take a look at the uh, take a look at the final classification here in Singapore. Uh, Kieran from 14th on the grid there to win the race. Uh, of course, driver today as well, superb stuff indeed. Second edition was Danger Times tonight. There, great drive for Danger Times, and he's put himself in prime position for potentially the World Championship clinched in Japan. Troy in third, there, great drive from Troy as well. In third, there, absolutely, uh, he was just magnificent, a machine all the way through. Fourth position was Epic the Animal. Fifth position was Blaze, and that. 
three second penalty. Didn't cost them anything in the end, though. Put it possibly could have gone up to four. Fair. Black Box in sixth position. Mr. Rage himself, his first point of the season. I know his uh, career in Division One. Fantastic. Sully eighth. Ninth is Crazy Bill. Tenth is Tiger. Um, Knowles in eleventh position. Chaz at twelfth. Sloth in thirteenth. Got fast. That retirement was boxed out. German, uh, Clarky, uh, Cookie, uh, Julia, Mr. BT, and Milan all retired then from the Singapore Grand Prix. And Kieran, what an incredible drive today. Um, you didn't have a very good qualifying there. Uh, is that you seemed to have the pace there, but you kept getting uh, invalidations. But my goodness me, the points are awarded out in the race. And a great drive from full teams to win today. However, it did look a bit bleak. What happened to you on the first lap? Mate, there were some, some people behind me who were just a little bit too impatient. I got hit from behind and then uh, got hit into someone in front of me and I got wing damage. And um, I just I just ran on the stream that that might have been a blessing in disguise then because you came in the pits uh, you took off those hard tires and then you went medium medium uh, throughout the race then, and and um, that seems to be the perfect strategy but my goodness me talk about your straight line speed you was absolutely leaving everyone for um, oh goodness me you had a rocket ship didn't you honestly I think that was just people thinking that I had to pit again so I thought my theory is people thought that I'd gone medium medium and then would have had to go softs at the end. Which is why they didn't defend at all, because I found people lifting off to let me through, because maybe they thought that it wasn't worth fighting me in that moment. And uh, then in the end, then as well, um, absolutely magnificent stuff, Fed. Um, and of course, you did come on on the uh, medium tires. When that safety car came out, would you, before that safety car came out, would you thinking about going to see on those medium tires, or was that just a stretch too far? I don't know. Honestly, the, that race is just a blur to me now. I just, all I have to say is Milan, go. <laughs> he forced me to turn line off. Um, definitely didn't read chat whilst I was racing either, which is how I saw that. But yeah, no, he, he told me to turn line off. Um, yeah, when I first joined WR, I've been complacent here and there. I've still been using it from time to time, especially on time trial, because addicted to that. Um, but no, he, he told me to turn it off. I did some good practice today and yesterday, and it's paid off for once. So um yeah, I'm happy. Quali didn't go to plan, as you've said, and we've all seen. But um, yeah, as you said, points served from the race, and the race went well, although most of it was luck. Uh, talking about turning off the line then, um, what, the, what does that do? Is that, um, does that just make you faster into the corners? Could you explain a bit more about that? It's just a visual thing. The, the line in general is just a visual thing. It doesn't change guard grip or anything. So it basically means that I have to be full focused all race from now on, something that uh, I'm usually not, um, so, which definitely added to me being so drained at the moment, um, physically and also mentally at the end of that one. My goodness me, it's a, it's a brutal race as well. Do you say that's the, mo that's the hardest race of the season or do you think that there's other races that may top that one? Oh yeah, for sure. Um, first of all, this one being a lot of corners within a shorter track distance. Um, putting a lot of effort and obviously, annoyingly, I turned my force feedback up a few days ago as well. <laughs> kind of wish I didn't do that because that made this so much harder and obviously with it getting towards summer now it's so much hotter as well which only added to it more goodness me it sounds like a hard racer and no, I thought I had it rough well done indeed today Kieran brilliant drive from 14th on the grid to win at the Singapore Grand Prix domination wasn't it and of course uh, and then we come to a man who was absolutely consistent today Troy um, a podium today as well magnificent stuff indeed there uh, you was hanging on to the coattails of the championship rivals there weren't you thinking that I can stick my nose in here and I'm going to jump out the way struggling to keep people behind me for the first like couple of three four laps and then I kind of got to this grid and just see how to kind of control this a bit and then I just got safer I was joining the race too quickly. Um, uh, we, we heard Kieran saying how um, how difficult it was to uh, this is one of the most difficult races of the season in terms of concentration yeah. how difficult was it for you um, to um, especially as you was in battles like all the way you um, all the way through that race as well but Kieran had a bit of a rest by the way and then when he was um, when he was leading but how difficult was it for you there to keep your concentration and not drawing to the back of someone yeah I don't think it was too much about driving to the back of someone I was more focused on the guys behind because yeah in this long like DRS train, if you're like the third car, there's nothing you can really do about the guy's head anyway, so I was just focusing on not making any major mistakes uh, against 
the guys behind and then just hoping for something to happen ahead. Uh, and yeah, luckily for me, last lap was two laps before uh, the Tunis uh, exit got uh, planned. Uh, and yeah, I was, yeah, I was just delighted with that. So. Absolutely magnificent stuff. Well done today. Well done to Karen. Dominating performance there from four teams to first. Uh, Troy, absolutely beast again then, as they've said in the comments. I love it. Right, um, that is going to be it for us tonight. And we go to the land of the rising sun next week, don't we? Another seven days of action here in Hyper Drive. Goodness gracious me, we're relentless, aren't we? But of course, Japan, I'd say that's one of the best free tracks in all of Formula 1. We've gone from the physical draining race in Singapore. All the drivers have felt this one, I'm sure of it. But now we go to the spectacular Suzuka for the Japanese Grand Prix. We'll see you next week. Goodbye. Bye.